What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're using a crazy cool team that features Ho-Oh and Lugia. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring those notification bells so you do not miss out on any of my content. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with Ho-Oh. And like I said, today's team is really, really cool. You got the Ho-Oh, you got the Lugia on the same team. You don't get to see that too often, especially in Series 13. But ho -Oh is sitting here with the Regenerator ability, alongside with the Citrus Berry as his item. And then his moveset is Sacred Fire, Brave Bird, Mystical Fire for special attack drops, and then Recover to recover its HP back. Second Pokemon is going to be that Lugia. Lugia is so cool. I feel like Lugia and Ho-Oh are such cool legendaries. All around, they're just amazing. It's got Multi-Scale as its ability, alongside with that Weakness Policy as its item. It's got Aero Blast, Earth Power, Thunder Wave for Paralyzes, and then Recover, just like Ho-Oh. Middle left is going to be Zacian over here. Zacian is just an absolute beast in Series 13. One of the best Pokemon in the game. Cannot go wrong with it on your team. This one has Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword, and then it is the Quick Attack moveset with Iron Head, Play Rough, Quick Attack, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Zero Aura over here. Zero Aura fits this team really well. It has Fake Out, so we can do some Fake Out control, and it's just a very fast Pokemon all around. It's got Volt Absorb with the Assault Vest as its item. Then it's got Plasma Fist for Stab, Bounce for Coverage, and for Dodging Moves, and then Brutal Swing to proc weakness policy onto that Lugia. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Landorus over here. And Landorus is rocking the Focus Ash. And I don't think I ever used a Landorus set with a Focus Ash. So this is going to be fun. It's going to help us set up these Stealth Rocks, which is actually rocking. And hopefully we can actually roll out strong with this Pokemon. It's got Intimidate. It's got EQ, Bulldoze, Rock Tomb, and then Stealth Rocks, which you don't really get to see on the Doubles Ladder. So maybe we'll use it. Maybe we won't. I guess we'll see. Final Pokemon is going to be Ferrothorn over here, and Ferrothorn is just a great defensive bulk and a great stall Pokemon for the late stages of the matches. It's got Iron Barbs as its ability, alongside the Leftovers as its item. Body Press, Leech Seed, Iron Defense, and Protect for a fairly normal moveset for any Ferrothorn. But guys, there's the team preview. If you want to rent this team for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Lugia and Ho-Oh Series 13 team. We're hopping into our first match, and we obviously know our opponent is going Trick Room, but he has a really cool team. He's got the Malwak, he's got the Victini, and then he's rocking Yveltal, Melmetal, Indeedee, and Calyrex. So I could definitely see Indeedee coming out here. Cannot really lead my Zero Aura unless I want to go for the weakest policy proc, which I might want to do. Let me see your speed, Lugia. You're pretty bulky, and oh, you're 169. That's actually really fast. That's actually really fast. I was expecting it to definitely be slower, but um, I'm trying to figure out ways we kind of like go around this and stop Trick Room, but it's really not looking good for me, right? Trick Room popping with Indeedee and like Calyrex is just re really simple, and I feel like you could set it up instantly. So, I mean, I could go Ferrothorn here, maybe set up a Leech Seed turn one. That could be pretty good. Go for a defensive bull because he has a lot of physical attackers. I might just go Ferrothorn here. Do I go Ferrothorn alongside with like maybe like Ho-Oh? Special attack chops can start rolling in there, but he would just follow me, all that good stuff, and then swap. Hmm. What would be the play here? I think maybe my best bet would just be like proc and weakness policy with uh, Sarah Aura. Might be my play. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go rolling with them too. I am going to bring Ferrothorn in the back end, and then last but not least, I am going to have Zacian. Just for late game purposes, just really good Pokemon all around. I'm going to rock out with him. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But you guys know the deal on the Genius channel. Before the first battle even starts, you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What is your favorite Pokemon game that is not part of the mainline series? So no Gen 1 through uh, 9 now. We're working on Gen 9. None of those games. Anything that is like off the main series, let me know in the comment section down below. For me personally, I always loved the Pokemon Rangers games as growing up. They were just a lot of fun on the DS. I just love them. But he's going to end up leading these two. Ah. Uh, he can final gambit me, right? Can definitely final gambit me. The zero or out speed. He can't fake out. Ooh, this is. Mm, I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like this. I definitely want to dynamax you. I kind of want to take a bit of speed. I mean, he's not popping a trick room. I could go for a special defense boost. I feel like that'd be better considering we already have speed. And I feel like we just quake in the Victini just in case he doesn't, uh. Just in case he does a final gambit, but I would love to swap, but I feel like he's just final gambiting me. Maybe he'll go into the Lugia slot. That could be good all around, but uh, I definitely want to get off this Brutal Swing just so we can pop weakness policy and we can roll out strong. 
But Victini's scaring me, dude, because Victini is so like versatile. He can do a lot here. But I seem to get the most value when I'm using Victini out from just like using a choice scarf, either going into a final gambit or like a B create. I feel like that's where he's at his best. But we'll see what he wants to do here. We shall see. But we're gonna Dynamax Lugia. We're gonna hope to practice weakness policy and just roll out from there. We have the Zacian and we have the Ferrothorn in the back end. I'm totally surprised that this guy did not leave like in and somebody to pop trick him, right? It seems like that would have been the play, especially up against the team that I'm with right now. It seems like that would have been the play, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it all day. We'll roll out with these guys. He's going to go into a trick. Oh, no, we don't like that. What are you giving me? I don't have my weakness policy anymore. Choice Scarf. Choice Scarf. Okay, I'm Dynamax. That's fine. I am Dynamax. That does some big damage to Indeedy all around. I don't mind that. I'm Choice Scarf now. That'll actually help us out maybe later. And he is weakness policy proc, which is hilarious. That is hilarious that he's weakness policy proc, but now he's dead. So he's going to go out here. Um, I don't know what indeed he's going for. Didn't he go for a follow me? Probably going for like a mystical fire if I had to guess. Oh, he survives that. Surprise, surprise. He survives that. Okay, if I had to guess he's going for like a mystical fire just for special attack drop. I mean, that's fine. I can deal with that, right? No, indeed he pops it. Oh, I was hoping the trick room wasn't coming out here. <laughs> and of course, indeed he throws the trick room. I was just talking about it. Why wouldn't this guy go for trick room? Blah, 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 blah. Blibbity, blah, 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 blah. And then that happens. So I think uh, he... Actually, he's probably not faster. He's just choice scarf. But from here, I just want to go into Max Quake, send it across there, and just go for a brutal swing across the board. Right? Would probably be my best bet. Hope we can get rid of some of these Pokemon, but he's just going to expand it for us. We're going to be able to soak up pretty well. And then Victini's going to go? Yep, Victini's going to pop a V Create and probably take out my Zero War, right? Zero War, you're dead. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So Zero War dies out. We're not going to be able to kill the Indeedy. But I'm kind of fine with that. I can actually get out Ferrothorn and I can start maybe popping some Iron Defense. Which could be good. Oh, I don't know if I can pop Iron Defense. See, he has the Victini out on the field. Victini is definitely scary. Uh, what can I do? I could protect turn one. I think of ways I can get rid of this Victini and set up this Ferrothorn at the same time. I mean, I could protect. I could protect because we cannot eat up a V Create from his slot. So I might just protect and then uh, take out the. Take out the Victini. I'm trying to just waste out trick in terms. I mean, I could double protect here. Then swap, but nah, then we can't swap in this Asian. So yeah, I'm just going to Quake again in the Victini, and I'm just going to hard protect. Right, because I would love to set up an Iron Defense. If anybody on the field, or if anybody was on the field instead of Victini, we could have just popped an Iron Defense and kind of roll out from there. Which would have been great, because I know he has physical attackers in the back end. It's got to be definitely Calyrex and maybe Malwak. Maybe Malmike. He could have the Yvelt all rocking out in the back end, but we're wasting out some nice trick turns, which I really, really like. I'm just going to protect this little booger. Little Ferrothorn right here, and then we'll get rolling from there. The Expanded Force is going to come out here. We're going to be able to block. Lugia's going to take a little bit of damage, but it's just a straight bulk. It's just a straight bulk, and I do have Choice Scarf with it. I do have Choice Scarf, and the V Create does come through there. Saw that from a mile away. Good protect from us. So now we drop a Quake. Um, hmm. What do I want to do from here? I know Calyrex is coming out on the field. I definitely want to try to pop an Iron Defense. I'm kind of hoping Indeedee is not rocking with Mystical Fire. That could be a problem. It could definitely be a problem. It could be a big time. It's rocking Mystical Fire, which it might definitely be doing. It might definitely be doing. We'll see. We'll see. Because most of them do, especially the male Indeedee. They usually rock Expanded Force. Sometimes Trick Room. Sometimes Imprison on the Trick Room, too. And then on top of that, they roll out with Mystical Fire. Because Mystical Fires are such a good move all around. And if it is Rock and Mystical Fire, that can definitely do me dirty throughout the match. But Lugia's here with normal stats. They didn't drop his stats or anything. But again, Lugia's one of those Pokemon that really heavily relies on the weakness policy. To get his damage up. So we'll see how this one goes. Especially because he does still have Dynamax ready to go. And the Calyrex does come out here. I think I have to pop an Iron Defense, correct? Makes the most sense. And do I paralyze? I mean, I'm choice. I am choice. I gotta see how many turns are left in uh, Trick Room. Have to see how many turns are left in Trick Room. So I can start wasting out turns. Good for me. Huh. Go here. Check out Trick Room. Two turns left in Trick Room. Special Defense boost it. I feel like maybe a Recover is our best bet, but we're gonna be choicing. We're gonna be choice. I, I feel like I maybe I had to Thunder Wave this. I'm just going to Thunder Wave. He's definitely going to Dynamax, and I'm just going to Iron Defense here. I'm just going to boost my defense, because I feel like with Calyrex, my Zacian can take him out one shot once Trick Room ends. But we need... 
We need to trick him to end. That, that's our thing. That's our thing. We need to trick him to end. We'll see how this one plays out. But hopefully Ferrothorn is slower because I would love to get off this Iron Defense before Calyrex even makes a move. Just in case the Calyrex is going to hit my Ferrothorn. We'll see how this one plays. He's just going to help me hand. So that's probably bye bye Lugia, right? It's probably bye bye Lugia. Correct. And Ferrothorn is slower. That's really good. So Iron Defense is going to poke here. We're going to try for the setup here. We're going to try for the setup with Ferrothorn. Maybe play a late game stall. Would be really good. And he's just going to pop a Hailstorm and probably just take out Lugia, right? Correct. Make the oh no, he goes into Ferrothorn. Can you eat that? You can, yo. Iron Defense coming in hot. It's coming in hot. So we get that done. Trick Room is getting ready to end. We are Thunder Waving here, which is really good. So we're going to get a chance to paralyze. And I feel like I just protect this next turn. Oh, but that makes Calyrex slower, which kind of hurts the soul. It does kind of hurt the soul. Buffets are going to start chipping on Indeedee. I'm about that all day. And I think I just protect Ferrothorn, right? Because once Trick Room ends, then Ferrothorn becomes faster, which is really good. And I feel like I just have to get rid of this... Uh, I mean, I can hard swap, but I can't attack now. I'm Choice Scarf. No, I'm Choice Scarf. Uh, guess we'll just paralyze it. Guess we'll just try to waste out some turns, but I'll protect here. I guess I'll protect. I mean, I'm plus two on defense, which is really good for us. So I need to go for another helping hand here. That's totally fine. Hopefully, Calyx will just paralyze this turn. That could be really good for us. We'll just protect Ferrothorn. We're just slowly protecting the Ferrothorn here. He's paralyzed anyway. Ooh, beautiful turn from us. And we're wasting out these shots. The Thunder Wave's gonna fly. Wow, this could have been a good time to swap. That could have been a beautiful time to swap. It really could have. Um. Okay, so Ferrothorn is faster, and I think Ferrothorn can actually eat up a shot. I don't know if it can. I don't know if Ferrothorn can actually eat up a uh, another Max Hailstorm. I don't think it can, especially with Helping Hand out on the field. It's tough, and the Buffets are doing me dirty. Uh, ch 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 what do I do? We know Buffets are going to take him out. I feel like we just go into... I don't know if we hard swap here. He's got to be going after Ferrothorn. He knows Ferrothorn's setting up here, and it's going to be a pain. So, you know, I'm just going to swap into Zassian here, and I'm just going to try to get off a of Leech Seed. I'm going to try to get off a of Leech Seed over onto this Calyrex slot, because we know Buffets will take out Ndidi. Not too worried about it. I think another Helping Hand is going to come out here. It's going to be close. It's going to be a close battle. But we have Choice Scarf Lugia ready to go. He's going to be able to outspeed all on the back end. We have Paralyzed is rocking here as well. So our Pokemon definitely go first. They are all Paralyzed. Lee C comes out here. And I don't know if he's going for a Helping Hand here. What's he going for? He's going for the Hailstorm. That looks like it's going into the Zassian slot at this point. Zassian, you should be able to eat that up. My man. Yo, Zassian coming up with big eats. And now it's Mystical Fire coming out here. No, he's popping the Trick Room. That kind of hurts his soul. Uh, okay, so Trick Room's out here. And Didi's gonna drop out. Ooh. Ooh. That hurts. That hurts. That hurts. The trick room hurts there. The trick room hurts. If I was not Choice Scarf, I could have just taken that out. But we just allowed him to set up another trick room, which, I mean, isn't too bad. Can he take out my Zassian? I mean, I can protect here. If Leech Seed's flying, which is great for my Ferrothorn. He's probably gonna predict the protect, but I'm just gonna. Uh, maybe Leech Seed is another Pokemon here. Ferrothorn with the lead sheet. So good, dude. It's so good. But I wonder who his final Pokemon is. I would love to seed him up. Love to drop a nice little lead sheet. It's gonna be the Malwak. Oh. That's no good. That's no good right there. That is the definition of no good. No bueno. No bueno. I would love to go after Catlux, but I feel like we have to go after. Hmm. It's no good. That's no good. I feel like we have to go after Catlux. I mean, I could protect. Could protect, but mm. could seed this thing. It's no good. I'm gonna seed this thing. He might think I'm protecting. Calyx is paralyzed. It's a big time paralyzed from us. What's he going for? We're gonna seed him up here. I wonder who he's going for here. I really do. He goes for the flare. What's he going into here? He's going into my Zassian, thinking I'm protecting, right? Yeah, he goes into Zassian. Zassian's dead. That's tough news. That is so tough. <laughs> that is so tough, but yo, Ferrothorn's still pretty good here. But he can't body press onto the uh, Malwak, which sucks. It really does suck. <laughs> so, all this is going to come out here. We have Paralyzed on the Calyrex still. I don't know how to feel about all this. I feel like I have to get rid of the what's going. I think Malwak has to go. Malwak definitely has to go. Look at all this HP we're getting back. Ferrothorn's set up pretty well, but we're going up against some... 
some very annoying Pokemon. Some very annoying Pokemon up against Ferrothorn. Like two Pokemon that really counter him. But we have Lugia right here ready to roll. I don't know if he can. He probably can't take me out with a Glacial Lance. Right? Mm, that's no good. I have to protect Ferrothorn at this point, right? I have to protect Ferrothorn at this point. I have to protect Ferrothorn. Hope that he goes into me. But mm, this battle's tough news. Protect comes out from Ferrothorn. Let's see how this one plays out here. Kallax is paralyzed again. Again, he's paralyzed. He goes for Flare Blitz, and he doesn't go into the Protect. So he was doubling down Lugia. That's big time. And oh, was that a crit? Did you just take me out? No shot. That takes me out. Yo, Malwak is so strong. It low-key is so strong. But that is looking like the game, right? That is definitely looking like the game. But I feel like the only way I survive this is if I start boosting my defense up, right? I have to boost my defense up and just play stall. <laughs> I have to do that. I wonder how much damage Flare Blitz is really going to do. Right? How much damage do we think Flare Blitz is really going to do? Because if I can start boosting defense and just protect and stall, we be chilling pretty good here. They're plus two on defense already. Malak is a physical attacker, but a four-time super effective Flare Blitz does not sound good, right? It does not sound good. So I'm going to go for the Iron Defense here. Wild Trick comes out and about. Kalex is going to land a Glacial Lance here. And how much damage is that really going to do? How much damage is that really going to do? He's not boosted on attack or anything. We soak pretty well here, but I feel like Flare Blitz can definitely take us out. But we're plus four now. We are plus four. We're going for the Ferrothorn stall. We're going for the Ferrothorn stall, but I still feel like Flare Blitz can definitely take me out, right? Oh, God. Flare Blitz, can we eat this? Yeah, see? No shot. No shot. Iron Barbs come out here, but yo, Flare Blitz with the Alola Malwak just does way too much damage. But we were this close to pulling off that stall. Not a bad battle for battle number one. Okay, so we're going up against the best Series 13 team. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves our first victory here. It's definitely going to be tough, but I feel like for our lead, I kind of feel like we have to lead, like, Lugia and Zeraora here. Makes the most sense, right? I feel like we have a lot of counters. We can do a lot of work on these Pokemon. So I am going to lead both of those Pokemon. I am going to also definitely bring Sassian. Then last but not least, do I go in with the Landers or do I go in with the ho -Oh? I feel like Landers with the Focus Ash definitely gets a lot more value, especially with he, it, because it has Intimidate. So I feel like this is just our play. So I'm going to lock in this four. I'm going to lock it down. And uh, we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But I feel like it's going to be tough. We have Fake Out on Zero Aura. It's ready to roll. We can pop Weakness Policy turn one. But I just, like, this team's just so overpowering. It's <laughs> just so overpowering. Series 13, like, this team is where it's at. I feel like you cannot push, like, top 500 without this team. I mean, you can if you're really good at the game. But... These guys just overpower most Pokemon, and it's just ridiculously strong. Like, I just don't know what they were thinking when they were just like, yo, let's make Series 13. The creators were just like, yo, let's let the players use any single Pokemon they want. And then they were just like, yeah. And then they are just like, we know some Pokemon are overpowered. So let's just let them all use the same Pokemon every single battle. And they're like, that sounds like a good series. Well, it's not. It's one of the worst series, and we all know that. We all know that. We're not going to sugarcoat it. This game's still a lot of fun, but this series is down in the dumpsters. It's down in the dumpsters, especially like it's the last series. You got to close it out with a banger. Bring it back to the OG they should have. They should have brought it back to just Series 1, finish it out, and then we can roll in the Scarlet and Violet. But he's going to end up leading. Dun -dun -dun. Whimsicott and Groudon. Okay, so Whimsy Whims and Groudon. I could fake out. I could Brutal Swing. I feel like maybe Brutal Swing would be our better call, better call. Just in case he wants to protect. We can still proc with his policy. And get after it that way. And I could go after the... Uh, the ground on at that point. But I say we just get rid of the one shot. I mean, he's probably going to set up a Tailwind, right? We could leave it on the field if that's the case. I don't mind leaving it on the field. I don't mind Dynamax and just quake. Could get ugly real fast. I'll get rid of the one shot. Shall get rid of this one, Scott. Maybe I should have faked it out. I don't know. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Because he might even just like protect the one, Scott. Might even protect the one, Scott. No. I could have faked it out just airstream, but I feel like there's a chance that he might protect. So fake out an airstream is just not the play if that's the case. Uh, I'd rather just go into a brutal swing. He sets up a tailwind. He sets up a tailwind. It's all good. Not gonna worry about it too much. Let's see what he does. He's gonna Dynamax as well. So Groudon's getting the Dynamax. I'm Dynamaxing. He's probably quick and taking out my Zero Aura, so I'm gonna need some physical attackers to kind of get after that. Would have been a beautiful play to hard swap into Lando there. That would have been a beautiful play. 
Intimidate and dodge a max move. Woo. Couldn't be good. I could actually do that with Zassian. So I'm kind of leaning towards. Force Zassian out there and then go from there. And he does protect the Whimscott. So great call from us. Beautiful call from us. Actually, it's not a beautiful call from us. Actually, yes, it is. We proc policy over just faking out. So we get the policy proc'd. We're fine here. And we're rolling out. I was going to hard beat it and just go after the Groudon, but it's definitely my best bet. We're going to airstream through. Bang. And still do a crazy amount of damage, which is gorgeous. It's definitely gorgeous. But yeah, he's definitely quaking. He's taking me out here. He's boosting special defense. And he's just going to quake. So he's going to take out my Zero over here, no problem. Right, Zero was gone 100%. And we have to, we're going to put Zassian out on the field just to, to, to get this guy to bite the bait. We're going to have him send a Mech Quake over into the Zassian slot. He's going to Tailwind as well. And then we're going to hard swap into uh, Landers, drop an Intimidate, and more importantly, dodging a Max move, which is going to be really good for us. Unless he's going for Flare. Flare would be the smart play. But I don't, I don't think he's going to read the bait, right? I don't, I don't, I don't see him reading the bait at all. I don't see him reading that bait at all, but I'm just going to go into an airstream. Or do I just quake here? I think I get after you. I think I get after you and I just hard swap into Lando. Let's see if he'll bite the bait. Bite the bait, dude. Just go for the quake again. You know you want to go for the quake. It's your stab move, your only stab move. It's super effective on my Zassian. You want to go for it. You know you want to go for it. Flare would be the smart play. If he's rocking Flare, it would be the smart play because he probably knows it takes out my Zassian. And he's like, okay, if I swap, I can still do it. But I don't think he has the Moxie to pull off a of Flare. I really do not think he has the Moxie to pull off the Flare. We shall see. We shall see. I just don't think he has it in him. Don't see it. We know the Tailwind's coming out here, so I'm not going to worry about the one's got. And he's thinking long and hard. He's thinking long and hard at this one. Taking long and hard. We still have to land out. Show me the quake. You bite the bait all day. Ten times out of ten, you're biting the bait. You do it all day. You ain't got the moxie to not drop a max quake. You know what's happening. I think he's white herbed as well. Get out of my face with that. He tailwinds. And show me the max quake. Show me the money play. Show me the money play. Show me the money play. He knuckles. Okay. Okay, I mean, rather smart. He boosts his attack. Kind of hurts, though. He didn't bite the bait. <laughs> he thought about it long and hard. That was, that was, that was a good play. But we go for an airstream. We do, like, a little bit of damage. I mean, he has speed now, and he can take me out no problem. Uh, shh, I'm trying to figure out ways we can kind of get after this one. I mean, we're plus one now. Uh, EQ can freely fly from us, so I'm just going to airstream this slot. And I'm just going to drop an EQ. I mean, he probably takes out my Lando, right? It's tough, man. This is tough. I don't like this game one bit. <laughs> Not one bit. Series 13 is tough, man. Just such strong Pokemon coming out here. Good charm me. Okay, that's fine. Charm me all day. I'm a special attacker. I'm a special attacker, so I was just a waste of a turn from him. I'm not worried about that one. has got too much, so we're going to airstream here. Get off some big damage. My Lugia's outspeeding. My Lugia's outspeeding, and my Landers might be able to outspeed here. It's plus two now. Landers, how to speed him. Let's go. EQ's flying. We love it. And we're going to be able to take out one Scott for sure, right? No, we don't take out either. Ah! I don't like that one bit. Rockfall's going to come across here. And who you going after? Lugia, please? Okay. I can deal with that. Wow, that actually did a lot more damage than I thought. But that was because of the plus one. But we have speed. Sets a Sandstorm. Um, I would have loved to set up a Stealth Rocks here. I could recover this turn. I can recover and set up a rock. Which I think it's going to be my play. Just take off Sash of Pokemon. And I could EQ at the same time. Recover is definitely a play. Do I set up the rocks? I'm kind of feeling like the rocks is my play. I'm going to set up rocks here. I'm going to recover and set up rocks. We have speed. And one Scott goes down, then it's really good. Battle's really close. <laughs> this battle's really, really close. Hmm. 
What do I want to do here? I'm just, I'm just thinking of the next turn. Maybe ground on protects. We know Wimscott cannot or won't protect. Actually, it could swap just to save for Tailwind later. That would be a smart play. Ground on does protect. I love this turn. This turn's huge from us. He's going to charm me. He's going to charm my landers, right? Yeah, so landers gets to charm. That's fine. We're rocking. We're stealth rocking. And we're going to recover. This is a really good turn from us. A really good turn from us. We go back up on the HP board. South Rocks is flying. Wimscott goes down. Next Pokemon that comes in here loses Sash if he has it. Solid Stealth Rocks there. I did not think I was going to use Stealth Rocks in today's video, but we used it. Tailwind should be ending soon. I could have hard swapped Lando if I want to. Options, people. Options. But I don't think I hard swapped the Lando. I think we use it just to take out the... Uh, even though he's charmed, he should be able to take out the... Uh, the what's it called? He should be able to... Uh, uh, can you outspeed that? You both thought... Ooh, yo, nice little rocks, rocks damage there all day. How many turns left in Trick Room? Oh, not Trick Room. Tailwind. It's one, right? It's one. But we should outspeed. I mean, I can take... Mm. I just go for an Arrow Blast here. Once Tailwind ends, my Pokemon outspeeds these guys. Ah, uh, this is exactly what I want to do. I'm going to do that, and I just want to go into the too. Rocks was nice. That was some good damage for Rocks. That was some great damage for Rocks. Arrow Blast comes through. Can we get a crit? How much damage are we going to do? It's a KO. Oh my god, so close. Foul Play's coming in hot. Can you eat that? I mean, you charmed me. I do eat that. That's beautiful. Lando can outspeed. You died at Life Orb. Oh my god, dude. This match is coming out to the wire. This match is coming out to the wire. EQ's flying here. Lugia, can you eat up this Buffet? You should be able to. And then you can outspeed everybody. I can just recover next turn. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Jeans is playing pretty solid here. Not going to lie. I can Rock Tomb. We should be able to eat that up, right? Yeah, okay. So we eat that up. I can Rock Tomb. Slow down that Pokemon. So I know we're faster. Lugia's plus three. Landers is plus two. We have Stealth Rocks out. And he's going to throw out Kyogre. He's going to take some Stealth Rocks damage. Um, hmm. I don't even think... I don't think that recovering is our play here, though. I think we just double down on attack moves here. Get off as much damage as we possibly can, right? Arrow Blast into an EQ. I don't think we need to slow down. Unless this thing's choice. Ugh. It could be choice. It could be choice. Don't like one bit. I guess we'll find out if it's choice. Let's see how this one plays. Still could be choice. I mean, my Pokemon are high on speed, but we're going to Arrow Blast here. Get off some nice damage. EQ's going to fly here. Rare Charm is not going to do too much, but he probably picks up the double kill. Let's see what he does here. He goes for the Origin Pulse, knowing that we outspeed. I don't think he's choice. I don't think he's choice. So if Zassi can just outspeed, a Behemoth Blade should be able to finish off this battle and say GG, right? Or do I put... Or do I put my... The match on this player off hitting? <laughs> you guys know that player off misses all the time. But can Behemoth Blade take out? I feel like we should be able to soak up a shot regardless, right? I feel like Behemoth Blade is just a play. I hate relying on uh, Play Rough. It's just the worst move in the game. Yeah, Behemoth Blade, I'm relying on you, dude. I'm not dealing with Play Rough. We're going to go straight into a Blade here. So let's see how this one plays out. And I think we should be able to eat up an Origin Pulse, right? You know, it's going to do a crazy amount of damage. You're 183 HP, which is rather high on a Zacian. We outspeed and Behemoth Blade for the win. Did we, just, did we just outplay the best Series 13 team? I think we did. I think we did. Yes, sir, we did. Yes, sir, we did. Final battle coming at you guys, and I'm not going to lie. Our Stealth Rocks Landers definitely came up clutch in battle number two. Love that Pokemon. Glad I got to use the Stealth Rocks on them. But we're hopping into our third and final battle, looking for a winning record. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Thunderous, Incineroar, Zacian, Rillaboom, and Storm Drain Gastron. I do not think he's bringing Storm Drain Gas down, right? Makes the most sense. We have no water moves on our team whatsoever. He might bring it just for that Zero Aura, but I definitely want to get out Ho-Oh in this battle because Ho-Oh is just so cool. I'm going to actually lead Ho-Oh. I like this Pokemon. I really do. Especially because he has Fire. Fire is going to be super effective up against a lot of these Pokemon. And on top of that, he has Mystical Fire for a special attack drop. I'm all about it. I'm all about the Ho-Oh lead. I'm going to go Ho-Oh. I am going to go... I could go Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is looking kind of nice here if he can get set up, but at the same time, I don't think he can get set up here. It's going to be tough for him to set up. So, um, 
Two good Zero Ors. Zero Ors not too bad. He can do some nice damage. You got the fake out control. You gotta get one with that. So yeah, I'm gonna go Zero Aura. Definitely wanna bring Zassian. And then I'm just gonna bring Lugia. We're gonna have the double mythical birds. Like these aren't birds though. Well, they are birds, but they're not the legendary birds. The legendary birds I see Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. But these are still birds. These are like the the king of the birds, I should say. But I love these Pokemon. Lugia and Ho, -Oh, just so cool. This always reminds me of Soul Silver and uh, Heart Gold. I absolutely love those games. I remember when they came out for the DS. Oh, dude, it was amazing. This is such a good remake. That was probably one of the best remakes they ever did. In my opinion. But he ends up bringing the gash down. I was not... I was not mm, expecting that. Not expecting that happening. Uh, from here, I could just... Uh, I think I just go in here. Mystical Fire. I throw a little punchy fist at this dude. Do I go for a brutal swing? Yeah, just throw a punchy fist. No! I clicked on the Gastrodon. Please protect Gastrodon. Oh man, I wanted to do punchy fist into the Calyrex. <laughs> what happens here? He goes for Ashbot. Dude, come on now. Come on now. I don't need that one bit. He does some damage to us. That hurts, man. He gets a crit too. He got a crit. Plasma fist. Oh, dude, it makes me look like a goober. Makes me look like I don't know what I'm doing. We go for Mystical Fire. A little lower special attack. What the plasma fist that thing? Probably one through. And Earth Power's gonna fly here. But he's taking out him. Surprised he didn't protect the Gastron. The Gastron. Well, we're, we dug ourselves a hole with a misclick. With a lovely little misclick, it happens. Um, I might just Dynamax you. You have multi skill as well. Yeah, you're getting the Dynamax, kind sir. You are indeed getting the Dynamax. You're indeed getting Dynamax streaming. Okay. So, I feel like from here, we could we could recover. We could indeed recover. Hmm. I'm going to Bird. I am going to Dynamax, and I'm just going to Quake. I want that special defense boost, even though this might not kill. Unless he pops my policy. But, we're going this way with it. We're going this way with it. We dug ourselves a hole by losing that Zero Aura with the Plasma Fist. But it happens. It happens. So I feel like that Plasma Fist would have been able to take him out. 100 base damage. Stab on top of that. Would have been nice. And Calyrex isn't that bulky at all. So we'll see how this one plays out here. He's going to Willow with me. That's fine. I'm special attacking. I'm all about that special attacking. I'm all about it. We're going to Quake on top of this. And uh, I should have probably burned it. But, uh,. Or I should have burned it into the, uh, did I burn it into the Calyrex? That would be really good if I Brave Bird into Calyrex, but I think I Brave Bird into the Gashon at this point. The special defense boost comes out here. Um, I don't know what I do after this. Brave Bird's gonna fly, it's gonna do a nice chunk of damage. We're gonna take a nice chunk of damage. And I could go for the Regenerator swap. It's definitely an option. And I think that's gonna be my play now. I think that has to be my play now. I think Leftovers? It is a Leftovers Gashon. This is a leftover gastro. But yeah, I feel like I just hard swap. Uh, the what's it called? Bird, I go for generator, and then I have to bring this assassin. And then I go for the airstream, I look to take a bit more speed onto the squad, and then we roll off from there. I'm about it. I'm all about it. And Calyrex is minus one on special attack. We have a plus one special defense boost. And he's gonna end up, ooh, he's gonna end up swapping Calyrex. Oh, and I can eat my berry. So I eat my berry, and then I have a generator back up to full HP. I totally forgot I had a citrus berry. Well, who's he throwing out here? Zassian's coming out here. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. I mean, we're not going to do a lot of damage, but the speed boost is going to be very, very valuable to us. Because now it makes my Zassian quicker, and I feel like on top of that, my Zassian should be able to start taking out some people. He might yawn my Lugia, which could get ugly, but... That's fine. So air stream flies. Hmm. Not too much damage. No bueno. And I feel like I just quake it next turn. And are you yawning? Please don't yawn me. Leave me alone with the yawns. He goes for the yawn. And it fails. Why'd it fail? Fuse. Oh, I have burn. I have burn. Are you trying yawning me with burn? <laughs> what a clown. What a clown. Even though I made a clown move. With that misclick. But uh, I feel like I just go into a behemoth blade here. I just airstream onto this thing. The Behemoth Blade does, definitely has a shot at taking out that uh, Zassian. He just protected Zassian, didn't he? Ah! I hate this game. 
Dude's out playing me a little bit. Just a little bit, just a tad bit. I mean, we have a nice speed going here. But he's definitely, definitely, definitely yawning my, what's it called? He's definitely, definitely yawning my, uh, my Zassian, which I might just let my Zassian fall asleep. Cause I absolutely love this plus two boost here. Yep, there's the yawn. Uh, what do I do here? So obviously I can, I can swap. I think I, I think I just take out, I go for the Zassian KO, right? I think I have to go for the Zassian KO. I think I have to, I have to let this Pokemon fall asleep. I still have my, uh, my Hello in the back end who can soak pretty well. It's at full HP again. I feel like I just have to go there. Go there and then just Arrow Bless this, uh, Gash on now. I'm about it. This thing's protected now. Get out of my face with that. Don't you dare land double protect. Okay, he doesn't even go for it. So Behemoth Blade flies. We're hoping this picks up the KO. If it does, I don't mind my Zassian going to sleep. Because this could be a big time KO. And it soaks. Mmm, hate this game, dude. Not liking this game one bit. Not liking it one bit. My Dalgo is going to sleep. He's probably play rough and nope, he's blading me. He blading. That's a real question. Don't play my Lugia. I'm cool with that because you should be able to eat that. All day, Lugia. All day. And the real question is who do I take out? Lugia's ready to KO. He can KO whoever he chooses. But Zassian slumped. Um, I feel like his Zassian might just protect, so I'm, I feel like Arrow Blast is definitely going to play. Into the uh, Gastron. I'm just going to get rid of that. That Gastron's doing some work. He's doing some work. I'm slumped. He does not protect his uh, Zassian. Arrow Blast comes through. Picks up the KO, right? Correct. See you later. Awesome. Thank you. We finally get rid of that pesky little Gastrodon. He goes for Blade King. Take out my Lugia? I don't know. Do I want him to take out my Lugia? Who's he going after? Okay, he's going to take out my Lugia. So Lugia drops out here. We have Ho-Oh ready to go. Ho-Oh is a Zacian counter. I don't have Dynamax though. Actually, do it now. I don't like Dynamax my Lugia. Which Ho-Oh would have been better, but he still has Dynamax. No bueno. But we did do some damage on the Shadow Rider Kalix, which I think he brings back out here, right? It would make a lot of sense. Is this, is this Shadow Rider? It is. So yeah, he brings back out Shadow Rider. I feel like he doesn't Dynamax this Pokemon. I feel like he saves his Dynamax. And then we just take her fire down into the... Uh... Actually, we could predict and protect. I mean, we have a chance of waking up here, so I'm just going to do that. And I think I'd rather get rid of this Zacian? I think I'd rather get rid of this Zacian here. Hopefully my Zacian wakes up. Oh, he does, yo. That's gorgeous. We love that. So we can say bye-bye to Shadow Rider. See you later. And then we'll say bye-bye to Zacian. See you later. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Big time wake up for my Zacian. That's why I just let him go to sleep, yo. I knew he was chilling. I knew he was rocking out. He had that plus two speed boost. So I was just like, I I can afford that. Just for, what do you go for a sub? You don't have enough HP, kind sir. You don't have enough HP, kind sir. See you later. Get him all on out of here. See you later. You don't have enough HP, kind sir. And that's going to be pretty much GG's. I mean, he still has Dynamax, but Zacian outspeeds. Zacian's ready to rock a Behemoth Blade. We're going to take battle number three. Who's your final Pokemon? That's no bueno. That's no bueno for him. Behemoth Blade's still doing some good old damage on that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to throw a sick fire. And we're going to get Molin. He's got a Dynamax, right? Nope, he just cancels battle. GG's. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, two and one for today's video, rocking out and grabbing ourselves a winning record with this Ho-Oh and Lugia Series 13 team. I absolutely love this team. Thought it was fun all around, and it was definitely different and, and fun to use on that rank ladder. Instead of the same old, you know, Kai Ogre, Shadow Rider, Kallax, all those guys mixed into one team, this team was definitely a little bit off meta-ish, but not completely. But again, definitely different from the meta. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.